All right, welcome to part five of this video series about setting up uh, Cisco's SD-WAN in a GNS3 environment. So you can look at our environment so far. We have our three controllers set up. And in vManage, what I'm gonna do in this video is first upload the WAN edge list. So what I need to do is go to configuration devices and upload WAN edge list. So we're gonna choose file in my download serial file dot if you went back to the first video this is the um file i downloaded from the plug and play connect so all we need to do is open it i'm going to validate it validate the list send it to controllers upload are you sure yes i am Number of V edges uploaded successfully 20. And what this is doing is this is pushing the VH list to the controller. So it's it's already done to the VMOD, already done to the VManage. I mean sorry, VSmart manage and VBond just finished while I was talking. So now if we go to devices, we could see we have 20 devices. We have 20 V edge clouds and I mean sorry, 10 V edge clouds, 10 CSR 1000 Vs. Um, so what I'll do is since this video was about a minute long, um, I'm also going to start doing the transports. So what we're going to do is I have some nondescript Cisco routers. Um, these are just C7200 because these work with GNS3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this one here. And then I'm going to create two more. And this is going to be so that we have some variable um, transports. So I'm not going to do anything else with this environment. And I'll call this, uh, we'll call this router cloud. So in the real world, your, your V manages your V managed be smart V bond, uh, you would probably have them hosted with Cisco. Um, unless for some reason you needed them on site. So you, this could be your data center. Um, so I'll just call this the cloud. We're not going to put any other services in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have two different transports. So this one I'll just call the internet. And this one I will do as um, MPLS. All right. So we'll connect to our internet. We'll connect to our MPLS. Um, you could have as many transports as you want. It's just I'm gonna, in attempts to save resources down the line, I'm just gonna do two. So let's go ahead and boot all these up. And I'll start with the cloud router. Uh, console. And actually, you know what, I might as well just console connect to the other two as well. Console, console. <clears throat> All right. So if you remember, go back to the vSmart configuration. Um, I have <clears throat> Sorry, set the static route to 199.1.1.254. And hold on one moment. Okay, I thought I could do that cleaner. So if you show run VPN 0, you could see our show IP route default route is 199.1.1.254. So on my cloud router, 
on the link to there. We're going to do IP address 199.1.254. Zero. And no show. All right, so now all of our controllers have a default route. So the next thing we're going to do is we have on our cloud router um, 1.0 or 1.0 is going over to the internet. So let's go ahead and configure that. So NFA 1.0. We're gonna do IP add 172, um, so you know it's the internet. So let's do 100.1.1.1. Zero, no shot. So on the internet side, copy. 100, 1.1.2, shut, all right. And then on our cloud side to the MPLS, which is 2.0. Let's do a uh, internal interface. So we'll say 1601. Shut. And we'll go to the MPLS. Zero two. No shut. And okay. So now. <clears throat> to make sure our transports are working. Um, all right, so our transports are working there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up three sites. Um, three is a good number to, so what we'll do is I'll create three V edges. One, two, three. Okay. So let's go here. Let's go one goes to one. Two goes to two. And three goes to three. So our three V edges will have internet connections. So let's go ahead to the internet. Uh, oops, sorry, wrong thing. So let's go to our INET router. And what I'm gonna do is FA10 is, let's do IP add. Um, 100 dot, let's do 1 dot 10 dot 1. Should have probably planned all this out beforehand, but that's all right. 2 dot 0, so let's do for 2 dot 0, let's do 20. And then for 3 dot 0, we'll just do 30. And those are all the sites we have. And now the one thing I am actually going to do as well is I'm going to set a default route to um, 100.1.1.1. That way all of our devices can just reach the controllers. 
So now that that's set up, we're going to do something very similar from the MPLS side of things. Um, we're going to go one to one. Two to two. And three to three. All right. So we will go ahead back to our MPLS router and we'll do 172.16.1.1. For this one, Two dot one, and then for this one, we'll do three dot one. And we won't do a default route here. Um, yeah, actually, we will do a default route here as well. Even though we're going to run BGP over our MPLS, I'm going to. Um, <clears throat> Add a route back to the cloud as well. Okay, so in this video, we uploaded our WAN edge list. Um, and then we also created our MPLS and internet transports for our three sites. So we're going to have three V edges. Um, in the next video, we'll start to onboard the V-edges. Um, and, then, and then we can start going from there.